Hi guys, how we doing? I know it's been a quite a long time, a few months if I've uploaded a video, but there's not really been much to talk about, so I haven't bothered, but I thought I would do one for today. Well, here's how my back garden looks today. Um, it was absolutely covered in leaves from that tree. Now normally, going by recommendations, I would have gathered them up and put them into a bin, but I do have a dog who does his business in the back garden, so I didn't bother. Um, but I have got a new bed, that one there. I'm going to make a cover for it. Um, I've left the leaves on that to try and kind of, you know, mulch the 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 soil. Um, in my tunnel, um, I have I was in there yesterday while I was tidying up. I was putting some spring onions and some onions in there um, before I actually plant them in there. I've put them in there, um, and I found some tomato seeds that had sprouted middle of November, end of November actually, and there was tomatoes growing in the in the hooped tunnel. Wow. I mean I was kinda just goes to show the difference between the outside and the inside of a tunnel. Over here there's nothing happening. I've got some beetroot in there. I'm now am I thinking do I put that in the tunnel? I don't know. There I have garlic, that organic garlic that I bought from Asda in that bed. I would go out but it's too cold. Um, and it's coming up. I purchased garlic from the garlic farm. Um, and I put it in the, the black bucket and along the bed where my tomatoes were. And it's doing absolutely nothing. Nothing at all hasn't even sprouted and it's been in there for uh, coming up in five weeks now nothing's happening um the the as the stuff it's sprouted it's organic stuff but the, the stuff that i actually bought from a garlic farm is doing nothing um my grass is better apart from the leaves all over it and um, my fruit trees are now bare Um, so there's not really much more, I've still to trim those strawberries and that's the, the transplantable ones that come off of those ones. So there's nothing really much happening out there. Um, but if I take you in here, up here I've got rainbow chard because I absolutely adore homemade soup, so I grow that, um, and then I just use it as required. And here I have got some cauliflower and broccoli that I'm hoping to grow. That is iceberg lettuce. I've done that just as a tester because I bought lettuce seeds and I thought, see if they were viable. And there is pak choy. Never grown it before, thought I would try it. I don't know if I'm doing it at the right time or the wrong time. And in here I've got a bit of kale that's just starting to sprout. Uh, the fan to blow the, the leaves about. And that's about it really. Um, there's not really much going on. Um, I've, in, up in there, I've got in the the cooler. I've got some potatoes for next year. Um, and really, that's about it. I've got all my seeds. Do I have to buy any more seeds? Um, what's that? Nothing else to do. Really boring time of year, but I'm now in the planning stage of getting next year prepared. Um, I know it's November going into December, but can I put like the chard and the lettuce 
in the tunnel. As I said previously, there was tomatoes growing in the tunnel. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Tell me your thoughts below. Um, this is flower seeds that I saved from some flowers in the garden. And that's really it, really. Nothing else happening. Anyway, I hope you are all well. I hope you have all had a good relaxing season. And there hasn't been any disruptions due to the situation that we're in just now. Um, I go for my booster in December. I can just can't wait to get by it, man. I can't wait to get out it. Anyway, I hope you are all safe, and I'll, and I hope you all stay safe. And I'll be probably uploading videos as soon as things start to happen. Um, I'll see you all soon. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.